Hey there Potter Puffs, welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for a week, but I'm back now and today we're going to be doing a video with my boyfriend John. So I've got lots of questions that you guys have sent me lined up. I'm gonna get straight into it today. If you do enjoy the video, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoy it and a big subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed to me. So let's get John on. So here he is, here's John. Say hello, John. Oh, what are we doing this now, are we? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Probably, we'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start again. Bonjour! So here's John. Hey! And today we're going to be doing the boyfriend tag. As I said earlier, we've got lots of questions planned and we are just going to read them out and see what he says. So, this is how well that you know me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so let's hope you get it right. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Okay, so a couple of kind of questions to get a bit of background about our relationship. So when did we meet? Oh, oh, when did we meet? Um, <laughs> yeah, so we, we met when uh, we started working together, actually, um, yeah. which was a good five, five years ago now. It's always something that will probably live in my memories for a long time, really, because uh, Bloss, or your, your wonderful Hufflepuff queen, um, she didn't seem particularly keen on me at the time, uh, so I had to do a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work, uh, but luckily I, I played my cards right, and uh, you know well. I got the opportunity to take her on a uh, a little date, uh, which beach. involved uh, the beach um, and also a burger. A burger yeah, always going to yeah. go down so, well with me. Uh, so that worked out quite well. <laughs> what food do I like, and what food do I hate? Or an example of. Well, I definitely have to say that your favourite would be uh, would be cheese. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> any any meal which uh, is you, you know something that you could put cheese on, whether it's cheese on toast or cheese on your pasta. Cheese with cheese. Uh, yeah, yeah. Any of those combinations would work. Um, but uh, we also know that, as I mentioned a moment ago, you know burgers are always a top food. A good one to go with for you. In terms of bad food or food that you don't like, um, that's, 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 that's a difficult one. There's not, not a great deal. Um, I'd probably say that, you know, you don't like a lot of things to do with peanuts, do you? So no. peanut butter, which is Nuts actually a really, general. really big favourite of mine. So that's good because it means I've got lots of that for myself. Okay, so next question is, what's my weirdest habit? Probably say it's uh, the way that, although you're Be six careful. years younger than me, you do have a tendency to, uh, to mother me. Um, which, you know, I, I, I don't mind on some occasions. I probably could do with that uh, point in the right direction. Oh, have you made your lunch for tomorrow? Which he or, hasn't. <laughs> you know, have you tidied up your clothes from the laundry? Which he hasn't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I probably, probably could do with being told to do these things, really. What am I good at and what am I bad at? Well, you're amazing at what you do at the moment with your channel. Well, always the most confident of people or not the sort of person that you would expect to be in front of a camera. Definitely not. Really proud of the fact that you've been able to do that. Over the time that you've now done your channel it's been been fantastic and you know you've, you've really been able to become a more confident person which I've recognised Definitely. as well uh, you know outside of your videos and photos. The things that you're bad at, oh I don't know. Um, I've got a few that spring to mind. <clears throat> yeah go on then. Criticism. I'm not good at taking criticism or saying sorry, am I? Sometimes. No, yeah, okay. So, you know, sometimes it can be a bit difficult, a bit of uh, blood out of a stone, Animals. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess if we took, took you down the route of sport and things. A bit funny when you run as well. You're a bit of a, I don't know, probably like a, a penguin trying to <laughs> run towards along. the sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next one is, I'm sitting in front of the TV and what is on the screen? It goes about saying if it's on, friends. <laughs> yeah. 100%. So what's the first thing that I do in the morning? Even though you're normally asleep when uh, I wake up. Yeah. Probably, probably check in on your phone. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On a phone, like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I try not go on it as much, but it is difficult. Yeah. What is one thing I love doing that a lot of people don't? I mean, I, I guess really, you know, you're sort of quite stuck in your ways in the sense of, you know, you enjoy doing things that are creative, uh, that a lot of people as they start to grow up, you know, 
for one reason or the other, whether they're getting too busy or they've got too many responsibilities, they you know will stop doing. But the lovely, lovely Hufflepuff Queen, you know, she uh, does tend to try and you know make sure that she keeps herself creative, and that is something that you always enjoy doing. So coloring, you guys would have seen things. lots of the colorings that she's done. Um, you know, some of the DIY videos you've seen in the past as well. Where am I on a Friday night? Well, certainly not down the pub. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm probably in my pajamas. Yeah, I mean we 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 enjoy our time at home, don't we? Yes. Um, and we will enjoy watching, you know, movies and TV mm -hmm. or just doing our hobbies, really. Yeah. So you like yeah. doing a bit of painting yourself, models sometimes, you go on computer games and then I'm sat there drawing and colouring, things like that. Friday nights are just a night that we enjoy because we know that that's the start of our weekend as well. So that's yes. that's that's usually as exciting in its own way. <laughs> yeah, but, definitely. Uh, no work. What's a song that we associate with our relationship? Probably quite a few there. Uh, we're quite mixed in the types of music that we like. Uh, one that sticks to my mind though will obviously be Holy Grail. Yeah. Uh, and that was uh, Jay, Z, Jay Z, wasn't it? If you've not listened to that, you know, and, and you like some of the stuff that Jay Z does, then I certainly recommend it. Obviously. Played it on repeat. <laughs> okay, so the last one of the normal boyfriend tag questions is complete this sentence. My girlfriend is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so many I, possibilities here. Yeah. I was going to be really rude there, to be honest. Annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Annoying, shall I say? Uh, my 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 uh, my girlfriend is uh, she's she's great. She's amazing. <laughs> I do love her. Um, no, nah, she's uh, she's she's creative. You know, she's a happy person. Um, you know, again, you don't see her off of videos as such. Uh, but what I can certainly vouch for is that when she's outside of her video she's always still the, the same happy person that you see in the videos. Um, I can be a bit miserable, definitely. You um, said you've got excited about Christmas again since yeah. being with me and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. You know, <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't dislike Christmas. No, you know, I love it. It's a great time to uh, see family and friends. But uh, yeah, you know, she's certainly helped reinvent myself. The in childish side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, we're moving on to the questions that you guys have sent. So I've selected oh, no. some of my favourites. <laughs> okay, so also I apologise if I don't pronounce a username correctly. Some of them are quite confusing to read. <laughs> what would you call your pet? We have a pet, but what would you call maybe a dog? And that's sent in by Lahuzel. So thank you for that. Do you know what? If I if I had a dog, I'd be half tempted to call it Rubius. Rubius. <laughs> Rubius. Yes. yes. Do you know what? I think that would actually be a really good name. Named after Hagrid. How yeah. good. We'll I mean, have to remember this. We can maybe shorten it, like Rube. Rube. Rube, or something Rube. like that. <laughs> Come here, Rube. Or just call it Hagrid. Yeah, I mean, it's... I, I don't know. Uh, and then you get your hag for short, yeah, so maybe yeah, not. Maybe. So a question that was sent in from It's Mia is, do you think you'll get married in the near future? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, very, very good question. Um, I tend to get asked this question quite a lot, actually. Um, seems to be something that I'm getting extra, extra pressure on now in terms of um, family, friends, work colleagues, and uh, and the lovely Hufflepuff Queen as well. But uh, yeah, you know, it's 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 definitely definitely on the cards if she if she if she still behaves. And if I say yes as well. Uh, well yeah, didn't even think about that. Yeah, that is gotta a think good, about good that. Point, yeah. So, here's a Harry Potter related question. It's sent in from Nazim, and it's, what's your favorite Harry Potter character? And I don't actually know this. Favorite Harry Potter character? Um, I'd probably say that, you know, Neville, Neville's up there. Um, just cause he's so quiet and, I don't know, he's, you know, a little bit silly with the things that he does, uh, but as, you know, you see the films go through, you really get to see the Gryffindor side of him come out and the fact that he's, you know, very brave um, and, you know, he's, he's, he's not scared to put up a fight to try and help, he's you thinking. know, the, 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 the goodies, the goodies. Yeah, the yeah, goodies, you know, the goodies and the baddies. Let's be honest, it's all <laughs> about the goodies versus the baddies and, uh, you know, it you is. need to make sure you've got a Neville Longbottom on your team. To, Definitely, uh, in his bunny rabbit pyjamas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind a set of those actually, they would be nice to be honest. So, in the words of Stephanie is asked, do you like any fandoms yourself? Um, 
I'm not. I'm not like really a, a big follower or you know a, a big fan of anything in particular. But uh, if I was to say one, it would be a football team. Or to those of you who are in, who are in America and Canada, soccer. Uh, and soccer. I am a huge, huge fan of uh, Liverpool Football Club. Yep. I'm very passionate about them. I want them to do well. Uh, you know, it's just like anyone would want. Harry Potter to do well, you know, they get upset if uh, things stopped with that for whatever reason. Um, but you like a lot of TV shows and films, don't you? You just don't like collect loads of things of one. Like yeah. You. So Fantastic Wizardry Love has asked, how do you cope with my Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts buying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, that can be pretty interesting at times. I mean, it, it's just taken over. It's just completely taken over now. I just, I go to pick up something to uh, wash myself with and it's a Harry Potter soap. <laughs> I go to get into bed and it's a Harry Potter duvet. Always. Um, Rotation I'll, of four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll go to make a coffee. Uh, it's a Harry Potter mug. Definitely. Um, I'll sit on the sofa here, actually, and you know, if I'm feeling a bit cold, you know, my, my sheets are Harry Potter. <laughs> so, I mean, I think you're probably no starting, it. yeah, you're probably starting to get uh, a bit of an idea of what it's like. My only respite <laughs> is when I walk outside. Yes. <laughs> We're living in the wizarding world. Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> but he loves it, really. I do, I do, really. So Hufflepuff Princess has asked, which Harry Potter character do you think I'm most like? Oh, that's, that's, that's a good question, that one is, yeah. A few spring to mind. Well, one in particular. Who would you say? Luna. Because I'm not Ravenclaw, but I'm kind of a bit different like Luna in some ways. You certainly are. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, I'd go for that. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily need that help there, maybe. I, I probably would have been thinking of Luna myself mm. as well. Um, some of your moods remind me of Hermione. <laughs> that, that, that's, that, that goes for me. I haven't got um, the brains of Hermione, but I got her moods. No, you might not, you might not have the same brains, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, the way that she um, sort of reacts sometimes with uh, Harry and Ron, you know, it goes back to what I was saying a little while ago about the motherly approach, you know, if we think carefully about Hermione in the films and some of the books, of course. Uh, you know, the way that she certainly speaks to Ron anyway, um, he probably does feel as though he, uh, he leaves the burrow and his mum behind thinking, yes, you know, good riddance, and then he's uh, obviously got a secondary mum, Hermione, at school for him. Yep, definitely. Okay, so last couple of questions, and one of them is by, I'm going to have to read this off the paper, it's pretty hard, Kahusha Garwal 12, so thank you for that, um, asks, are you a Potterhead? I think I'd be lying if I said no, really. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, as, as we said a little while ago, there's, there's no real escape in it. But I mean, it's not a case of escaping because I would have read the books and seen some of the movies long before you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I was a big fan. I was coming out of the, the cinema with my, uh, my packet of Bertie Bots. <sighs> So jealous I never got to even you know, do that. Um, <laughs> and I used to have my little mini chocolate frogs as well. Um, so yeah, I, I think I probably am. I'm a big fan of the Fantastic Beasts and I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing the next the next one. I'm a bigger fan of the Fantastic Beasts franchise. That's good, moment, actually. Yeah. I like that. And who's your favourite character out of Fantastic Beasts? Um, well, it's gonna have to be Jacob. He reminds me of probably how uh, I would react in, in his situation. Because yeah. I think I'd find it fascinating uh, to have Apple Strudel just miraculously turn up in front of me. <laughs> I'd uh, love to be I'd, I'd probably fall off my chair and then think I was dreaming. Uh, but, have some uh, gig of water. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah, too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite funny. Yeah. yeah. But no, Jacob is great. Uh, but Queenie, Queenie's, she's she's cool. She's yeah, cool. she is yeah. cool. Now Geeklet sent this question into me. Okay. She is a lovely person. I speak to quite a lot on Instagram, and she asked, "What do you think of the ship? And do you know what a ship is?" First of all. Um, what a boat? <laughs> so, in young people's terms, and even I don't know this really, okay. is um, where you, like, people would ship us, John and Bloss together. So it's where you think a relationship would be good. So in this case, she's asking, would we ship 
It's Dre Moni, and it's basically Draco and Hermione being together. <laughs> There's a lot of controversial ones of these. Yeah, but the thing with that though is that the the sort of um, the way that uh, Victor Crumb brings himself across is that he's a bit of a, a mean, hard, sort of tough person. Now he might he might not have the um, you know the uh, I don't know the, the dark side to him like obviously Draco and, and, and his family have, but. Uh, you know, Hermione, Hermione dates Crumb, or at least for the ball. Likes the bad boy. <laughs> um, you know, so that could work. That could work. Okay. Um, and when we see towards the end as well that Draco turns a leaf. Yeah, he does. Uh, He's not as hard as he makes it. After he wimps out of the big fight and runs away. Ooh. Uh, you know, so yeah, I mean that's 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 one that could could happen. Okay, fine, so. good answer. <laughs> So that's the end of the video. I've really enjoyed asking you the questions. <laughs> and I think John's had fun as well. Have you had fun? I've had lots of fun. Yeah, thanks ever so much, guys, for the uh, the questions. If uh, you guys or you would like in future, then there's every possibility I can come back and, and do something, something else. Maybe test him on some Harry Potter trivia. Yeah. Or leave me a comment down below if you think that is a good idea. <laughs> so yeah, it's been lots of fun. I will see you next week. We have a very exciting video planned. So I'm going to be playing Hogwarts Mystery for the first time. So I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye! Peace.